Nutrimania which brings all the nutritional information. Hey everyone, welcome to Nutrimania. Today we will discuss a common metabolic disorder, osteoporosis. Its pathogenesis, signs and symptoms, causes or risk factors, its investigations and moreover we will discuss its pharmacological and non-pharmacological interventions. And the most interesting thing medical nutrition therapy will also be discussed so to know all these things stay tuned and watch the video till end and subscribe our channel if you haven't yet osteoporosis or porous bone is a disease characterized by low bone mass and structural deterioration of bone tissue leading to bone fragility and increased risk of fractures of the hip spine and wrist osteoporosis means porous bone viewed under a microscope healthy bone looks like a honeycomb when osteoporosis occurs the holes and spaces in the honeycomb are much larger than in healthy bone osteoporotic bones have lost density or mass and contain abnormal tissue structures as bones become less dense they weaken and are more likely to break if you are 50 or older and have a broken bone ask your doctor or healthcare provider about bone density test two categories of osteoporosis have been identified primary osteoporosis and secondary osteoporosis primary osteoporosis is the most common form of the disease and includes postmenopausal osteoporosis type 1 and senile osteoporosis type 2 postmenopausal osteoporosis type 1 is associated with the loss of estrogen and androgen resulting in increased bone turnover with bone resorption exceeding bone formation and a predominant loss of trabecular bone compared with cortical bone People who suffer from this type of osteoporosis are also at a risk of spinal and wrist fractures. This is mainly because of the loss of bone structure and reduction in the amount of trabecular bone present in the vertebral bodies of the spine and in the end of the long bones like your wrist. Senile osteoporosis type 2. It represents the gradual age-related bone loss found in both sexes caused by systematic senescence is induced by the loss of stem cell precursors with a predominant loss of cortical bone. Primary type 2 osteoporosis is also called low turnover osteoporosis because the rate of bone turnover is much lower in this type of osteoporosis. It typically results in hip fractures. Secondary osteoporosis is characterized as having a clearly definable etiological mechanism. Secondary osteoporosis develops when certain medical conditions and medications increase bone remolding leading to disruption of bone reformation. The loss of bone mass occurs due to the imbalance between the production of new bone and the loss of old bone leading to low bone turnover rate. The pathogenesis of osteoporosis is multifactorial and takes into account genetics, systematic factors such as deficiency or excess of certain hormones and environmental factors and their interaction. The signs and symptoms of osteoporosis include back pain caused by a fractured or collapsed vertebra, loss of height over time, a stooped posture, a bone that breaks much more easily than expected, receding gums, your gums can recede if your jaw is losing bone, weaker grip strength, your bones are in a constant state of renewal, new bone is made and old one is broken, when you are young, your body makes new bones faster than it breaks the older ones, thus increasing the bone mass. After the early 20s, this process slows and the most people reach their peak bone mass by age 30. How likely you are to develop osteoporosis depends partly on how much bone mass you attained in your youth.
द हायर योर पीक बोन मैस द मोर बोन यू हैव इन द बैंक एंड द लेस लाइकली यू आर टू डिवेलप ऑस्ट्रोप्रोसिस एज यू एज Osteoporosis makes your bone likely to break because you lose bone mass and density. You may not have any symptoms or pain. The first sign might be a bone fracture. Things that make osteoporosis more likely include age. If you are above 30 and your diet is deficient of vitamin D and calcium, you are more likely to develop osteoporosis. Gender matters a lot. Women over the age of 50 are the most likely people to develop osteoporosis. The condition is four times as likely in women than in men. Then comes your family history. If your parents or grandparents have had any signs of osteoporosis such as fractured hip after a minor fall, you may be more likely to get it too. Genetic disorders like polygenic inheritance, endocrine disease like hypothyroidism, Cushing syndrome and hypogonadism, inflammatory disease like rheumatoid arthritis raise the odds that you will get osteoporosis. GIT disorders like malabsorption, chronic liver disease, certain medications like steroids, glucocorticoids, aromatase inhibitors, their usage for a long time can also boost your odds of getting osteoporosis. Smoking is bad for bones. Try to kick this habit as soon as possible. Heavy consumption of alcohol can lead to thinning of the bones and make fracture more likely. How can you know if you have osteoporosis before your bones break? There are several ways to measure your bone health. Bone mineral density test, sometimes called a bone density test, examines the segments of your bone through x-rays to detect osteoporosis. One of the most common osteoporosis test is dual x-ray absorptiometry, also called DEXA. It measures people's spine, hip, or total body bone density. How to manage osteoporosis? The aim of treatment is to reduce the risk of fractures that can be achieved by a combination of approaches. Firstly, non-pharmacological interventions, smoking cessation, moderation of alcohol intake, exercise and adequate calcium intake. Pharmacological interventions. Bisphosphonates are the most commonly used class of medicines to treat osteoporosis. They work by slowing the rate of bone loss. Main bisphosphonates are alendronate that can be taken once a day or once a week, ebendronate only for postmenopausal women, once a month pill or get it through an IV every 3 months. Some side effects or bisphosphonates are nausea, heartburn and stomach pain. Genosumab is also recommended for the patients of osteoporosis. Some of its side effects are fever, red swollen skin, stomach pain, pain or burning when you pee and muscle pain. Bone replacement therapy is also done for the treatment of osteoporosis like parathyroid hormone, calcitonin and estrogen but all of these have some specificities. Parathyroid hormone helps grow bones but have side effects like dizziness and headaches. Calcitonin is only for women who are at at least 5 years post menopause it is linked to cancer fda recommends it only when other treatments can't be used estrogen replacement therapy have side effects like endometrial cancer blood clots breast cancer heart disease because of this fda suggests taking only the smallest dose for shortest possible time sums selective estrogen receptor modules similar to estrogen but without some of its serious side effects raloxifene lowers the chances of getting breast cancers but can cause stroke a doctor can help you weigh the risk of these and benefits all of these methods are used for the treatment of osteoporosis the medical nutrition therapy a detailed nutrition management of osteoporosis will be discussed in our next video so till then Stay tuned, stay connected, stay blessed.